Hello everyone and welcome to another McBay video. So today I'm back with more diorama accessories and materials to share with you guys. And <clears throat> and I haven't been out a lot lately to hunt for uh, more diorama materials and accessories but these are just some of the materials that I was able to pick up during my casual visits at Michael's, Daiso, and Target, and as well as some um, online purchases. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot, but uh, I think these are some good ones, the ones I have in front of you right here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So, the first one that I'm going to show with you guys is this laptop book light, LED uh, light um accessory and you know you, this one is pretty self-explanatory you know you plug this thing in your laptop and then this one lights up so you can you know read whatever but uh for me when i look at this the most valuable part of this one is actually this right here which is what they call the gooseneck wire and the gooseneck wire is something that you can articulate so you could move it around bend it any way you want and it, it stays in that place so in this case i actually bend it so that it looks like a lamp uh like a lamp post you know the uh let me just pretend that the the end pig uh light right there is actually like a, a lamp uh, for the light street light and so you could kind of see already the potential of this uh, being a good um, material that you could actually just mod and um, yeah, use as a street lighting for your diorama so yeah um, I've also seen other people use this gooseneck wire as a uh, possible tentacles replacement for their Dr. Octopus Marvel Legends action figure so that's another idea and I actually have a video that I created um, when I modified my Dr. Octopus uh, Marvel Legends and I actually used this one right here in re to replace the uh, the stock tentacles that came with that figure which is very non-articulated so you can actually check that video I'll provide the links of that uh, video under the description box um, of this video and you can check that out anytime you want all right, so our next material is something that is free. Um, I'm not sure if you guys recognize this one, but this one is actually the little basket that um, comes with when you buy those strawberry uh, at the grocery store or the supermarket. Usually the, gro uh, usually the strawberries are actually placed in here sometimes even the berries uh, are also in here but yeah this basically is just a container for for uh, for them uh, when they sell sell them so what's good about this one is it's very lightweight and also um, this plastic right here is I think very easy to work with so I can already see this one uh, that could be useful for let's say a rooftop windows you know so like maybe what you can do in here is just add some uh, plexiglass sheet all around paint this thing whole thing like uh, you know black or silver or metallic or uh, something like that and you already have your your um, rooftop Kind of like a window that you could just like pop in <coughs> on a dial and you could actually just add some <coughs> battery operat operated lights to put it underneath and so you'll have something lighted also so the, yeah so that's just one of the ideas and another one that you could do is if you don't want to do that it's just you could also just cut pieces of the uh, of, of this basket and you could actually just use this as your um, <clears throat> framing for like the windows so again you know um, <clears throat> instead of either using 
a balsa wood to recreate your, you know, the um, the framing for your windows. You could totally just cut this out and paint it, you know, brown or whatever, and just lay it on, glue it on the uh, plexiglass sheet or the clamshell packaging, clear plastic packaging of the you know, clamshell, and you'll have yourself a window. All right, so yeah, this one is pretty cool and it's free if you can, um, you know, or recyclable actually. So the next one is this compass cutter knife that I found at um, Daiso. And what's cool about this one is it comes with a bladed tip already. And so you could actually create uh, circular patterns using this one and you could you know and you'll be able to cut it so this one I think is really um, a useful tool for your um, you know pink foam if you're doing uh, or cutting circular shape in that foam then I think this one will be good rather than using some of the just uh, other methods of making circle this one actually will, might give you a more accurate um, circle so this one actually goes to a maximum of three and a half inches and so that basically will give you about a seven inches diameter circle if you do the max so which is actually pretty big um i mean i get a ruler right here so seven inches is probably gonna be on this backwards so seven inches is from this to about right here so that's a pretty big circle so i mean a lot of the times you're probably gonna not gonna use that big uh, i think this one is useful probably at making manholes and things like that and maybe uh circular windows for some oriental team dioramas you know things like that um or or circular accessories yeah this one is will be good for that one too and it's actually pretty cheap i think i paid um anod not more than three dollars i think for this one so it's yeah it's pretty cheap and um good i haven't used it but uh i'll definitely be using this soon all right and then another materials that i picked up and this one is, is from Michaels, and this one is actually a Craft Smart Premium Mesh Wire Sheet. And as you guess right, this one is good for making chain link fences. And uh, this one comes in 12 inch by 24 inches long. So I think that's pretty good enough uh, for you to create something um, uh size wise i mean a lot of the time chain link fences in a setting you know like a urban setting doesn't go over um let's say six to eight feet tall and basically you know in here you'll be able to uh you know go up to 12 feet in in i mean in real life if you do the the conversion for the 112 scale um, so, and what I like about this one is this is probably easier to work with rather than the wire mesh uh, or those drain cover that you get from Home Depot because those are made out of a thicker um, metal. This one is something that I think you can just, you know, bend. And stuff and also I think size wise this one looks more um, in scale with 112 scale figures you know the 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 the, the lat or the cross bars of the chain link fences like um, way better scale and this one I think I spend how much is this one I think about no more than five dollars and then and then if you use the Michaels daily 40% off regular price item, then this one is about three bucks. So I think this one is a good buy. So uh, I'll definitely use this when I do my chain link fence. 
Next up is this item right here. And this one is from Target. And as you can see, it's $5. And this one is called a pegboard set. And you can see that this one is like a panel with like holes in them. And the back, this actually comes with like these letters that you actually plug in to those holes. So it's like a it's like a um, sign, you know, like a yeah, like a sign signboard that you could you know change and stuff in a room or whatever. But um, you know, I actually picked up this item because of. The, the panel initially so i actually have one that i opened already so let me just get that one real quick so this one is the one that's been opened as you can see you can see the thing on the back and it's kind of hollow so for me the main reason that i picked this item up is because I actually want to use this item more as a uh, floor panel or back or wall pan or wall panel for my diorama uh, or and photography toy photography use because this one is actually pretty cool to use as flooring as you can see um, you know you could buy multiple of this one and create a pretty nice uh, flooring material for like a for like a space or or a lab or something like that and you could paint it too you know different colors that you want and you could also modify um, the surface of where the hole is gonna be by just adding um, some you know uh, other surfaces in here that covers part of the holes and so you know you could have light coming through on this one also. Uh, you could add some lighting strips at the back corners and have like a mood lighting um, for photography uses or um, like I said, flooring and stuff. So I really like this one. Um, and I'm gonna try using this in some of my dio and pictures. So. Um, maybe later on I'll have those uh, posted in my IG so that you get you guys could kind of see how this one looks like and as for the the letters that that this one comes with uh, we could actually use those letters as um, lettering for for your uh, dioramas you know like on the building for example you know if you want to add like an address on a building you could just use those numbers for example you know or the name of the, the store or or like a garage or even for like signage for a diorama so you could actually totally just use this just paint it any color you want and i think you know that's a, a good secondary use for this whole piece so again it's uh, called a peg pegboard and it bought this at target and the only thing about this one is this could be like a seasonal seasonal item for target so there may be a time that you won't see this because this one is um, i found this at their kind of like their um it's not really the clearance um area but this this is the one that you see when you go inside target kind of like the the one dollar section the one one dollar two dollar three dollar section of of target that's where this one is located. So um, I don't see this all the time, but um, but if you do, then you know you could you guys could uh, pick this up. All right. So next up is another item that I found at Target. And again, this one is located at their kind of like the dollar section of the store, and so you can see I have like four different textured. Um, kind of like or colored uh, sand and gravel and stuff and I actually mainly picked this item because of the containers um, I think the containers are good to mod as um, if you want to make it into a 
um, kind of like a lab tube or something like that. You know, you could just add some alien looking, um, you know, figure in there, you know, and add some uh, water or put some lighting in there and to recreate some sort of, um, you know, the look, right? Or the ambient of the light. So that's the main ideas for me in here. And the secondary use for this is the actual material inside of these containers because uh, I actually use, like for example, this one is the fine sand. I actually use this for uh, debris, debris um, and stuff on my dial. So I, I'll definitely be able to use that. And this one is basically, or actually these three are actually the same, pretty much the same sizes, just different colors. So this one can work if, if you're doing some sort of like a, a desert type um, scene then you could you know just straight on use this one and then if you're doing more of like a, a snowy scene then this is something that you could use a snow and then this one right here is more of like a uh, coarse gravel type thing that i also use for um debris materials for my diorama so this is definitely usable and this one is the dollar the uh, one dollar each so they're yeah they're, they're i mean you could probably buy something cheaper at a dollar store you know for the materials i mean they probably come in a bigger bag than this one but again like i said this one i picked up not just for the materials but mainly for the container all right so we're almost done and then let's go for this one right here this one is called uh let's see actually it's an alphabet kit by art minds this one i also picked up at target and the reason why i picked this up is because of the letters uh, kind of similar to the pegboard idea that i have uh, that i told you guys about those letters uh, being able to use as a uh, names or address for the building front things like that this is kind of like the same ideas that i have in here so these letters obviously have different fonts than the one that I showed you with the pegboards and it's bigger also. So definitely this one could be used as a, again, you know, like names and stuff like that, but also for like bigger signage for the building of the rooftop, for example, you know, things like that. And each letter in the box comes in multiples of five so you have plenty of letters in here to be able to um, use this for different um, you know again types of <coughs> signage or names whatever and then on top of that once this one is um, emptied out uh, I really like the this container because I think you can totally use this as a let me see let me show you one. this one could be really good to use as a uh, shelving for a diorama uh, interiors for example so let's see i have a figure right here and as you can see this one actually scales pretty well so you know again you know you could use this as like a shelving um accessories you know and then you could just add books or like little display items in here and you could place this in like in, in the interior of a house or a library for example um i mean even in a lab you know you could just put like uh bottles of tube you know tube bottles and test tubes and beakers or whatever like that you know in here and you'll be able to have like a lab um shelving so yeah, this one is actually pretty cool. All right, and then lastly, this one right here, you know, what you see as a bird cage or, or bird house, I actually see a water tank. Uh, so that's why I picked this up because I wanna convert this into a, uh, a water tank. And obviously, I, you know, you have to do some modification in here. 
like removing this little peg right here and covering this hole um, I also don't like this kind of like um, edging in here for the roof so uh, what I'm gonna do here is just, I'm just gonna probably after I take this thing out I'll probably just wrap this with some sort of like a, a, a cardstock uh, paper and then the same thing on top maybe have a cardstock that goes a little over this one so it will it'll cover the edging of this one so I'll just make it like simple you know straight lines all around and uh, yeah you know so and I also like what I like about this one is the scale as well um, a lot of the times the ones that I I see people use for their water tanks are kind of small um, and really not really in scale this one is a little bit more in scale I think in terms of like the the width um, <clears throat> so I mean the height is still not you know um, as a perfect scale but um, wide the width I think it's pretty uh, good enough so yeah so I'm gonna be converting this to a water tank and then and it'll be you know I'll definitely add more um, you know structure to this definitely but yeah eventually that will be a water tank so that's all that I have for this video I hope that you guys find it useful useful and um, informative and if you do please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and always, I appreciate if you guys give my videos a thumbs up. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!